This is homework helper for a test for equivalent fractions. Now one of the things we do in fourth grade is we teach the kids to actually draw the fraction using the fraction rectangle. Find that homework helper for the fraction rectangle. But one other way that we use the kids to show as a test for equivalency for fractions is to use their multiplication table which they're supposed to be practicing every day. Also, it's okay for the kids to have a multiplication table on the state test if they've made it themselves the day of the test after the test begins. We normally have, normally have them open their test booklet and just write their multiplication table as a way to use to check their multiplication, but it also is good for checking equivalent fractions. Watch this trick. They have a standard 12 by 12 multiplication table, and if they always are looking for the numbers that are highest and to the left they can find equivalent fractions. Let me show you real quick. If they look on the heading on the left over here and you find 1 over 2 or what we would call 1 half, 1 over 2, everything in those two rows are equivalent to 1 half. It's just the way the pattern works in the numbers in a 12 by 12 multiplication table. Watch how this works. 1 half is the same thing or is equivalent to 2 over 4. One half is the same thing as three over six. One half is the same thing as four over eight, five tenths, six twelfths, and on and on all the way through. It's a really good way for the kids to see as they're working through a problem. They can do a very quick, it's like a little calculator, a really quick test for equivalency. Let's take a couple of others. How about two thirds? Two over three is the same as four sixths. It's the same as six ninths. 8 twelfths, 10 fifteenths, all the way to the end over here. This also works backwards. If, the, if your student finds that they have a larger fraction and they want to simplify the fraction, they simply go to the left. For example, if they find a fraction that says 5 over 10, all they have to do is find 5 over 10 as high up and as far to the left in this grid as possible, and then go to the left, 5 tenths is equal to 1 half. So you can use it like an inverse kind of a calculator. You can find the simple fraction here on the left, you can find its equivalencies all here, or you can find it here and you can simplify it to the left. Let's try something made a little more difficult. How about if someone says they have 14 over 21? All you have to do is take 14 over 21, go all the way to the left, and that's the same as 2 thirds. The numbers do have to be in the same column. The you cannot have 5 over 12, you can't have 9 over 20, they have to be uh, directly over each other in order for this little calculation to work. They do not have to be adjacent in rows. They can though be, for example, 4 out of 12, 4 twelfths is the same thing as 1 third. So they can, there can be space in between the numerator and the denominator. Another example would be 3 out of 12 is the same thing as 1 fourth. 3 out of 12, 1 fourth. Simplify it that way. We explain simplification of fractions to students this way. Would it be simpler to break a candy bar into 12 pieces and take 3 pieces? Or would it be simpler to break that just into 4 pieces and take 1 piece? It's always simpler to break the candy bar to divide anything in the least number of pieces. You get bigger pieces and it also is a lot simpler. So that's a way to lead kids into simplifying fractions. What is a simple way to say 5 over 10? Is it simpler to break something into 10 pieces and then give 5 to yourself and 5 to a friend? Or is it simpler just to cut it in half and you take half and the friend takes half? That's, this is another test for equivalent fractions. It's not the primary way to determine equivalent fractions. First thing we want them to do in fourth grade is to look, just to draw a model and you'll see that under the fraction rectangle. But this is a great way. This works all the time. It's not really a trick. It's just the way numbers work in patterns. This is homework helper for equivalent fractions test.